The Neuroscience of Motivation and Self-Discipline If you want to stay motivated and disciplined, then there are countless videos out there that will provide you with useless platitudes and hacks. These sound great on paper, but they rarely get the job done. If they did, then no one would struggle with lack of motivation or procrastination. Instead of looking for a quick fix then, the best advice is to think deeply about the nature of your motivation and focus. What is the neuroscience behind your ability or inability to stay on task? In this presentation, we're going to explore the answers to that question. The Neuroscience of Focus Motivation and focus largely comes down to a concept in psychology called attentional control, or executive attention. This refers to the conscious ability to redirect attention, which is handled by the executive control network in the brain. This is a network of brain regions that work together in order to help us stay focused. Specifically, the part of the network responsible for conscious control of attention is the part called the dorsal attention network. The ventral attention network, meanwhile, is the network of brain regions that react reflexively in order to redirect attention. That means responding to a loud noise or the sound of our name being called. Neurochemistry So how does the brain know which task to switch to and when it's going to do that? The answer is neurochemistry, the production of brain chemicals that mark certain activities in the brain as important. And in this context, the most important chemical is dopamine. Dopamine is the reward hormone that is produced when we work towards something that we think will be rewarding. Dopamine is released, for instance, when we eat something tasty or play a computer game. So what is it about computer games that causes the release of dopamine? It's actually linked with doing well, which in turn means we're learning. This is the key to motivation and focus. The brain wants to learn and keep growing. That's why we love play. Thus, doing well at something we find moderately challenging is a reward in itself. This is why it's so hard to stay fixed on a task that we find boring. This requires huge amounts of willpower to use the ventral system to stay engaged. Conversely, if you can turn what you're doing into a learning experience, then you will ensure your entire executive attention network is working in unison.